foundations foundations are classified into two types that is the shallow foundation and the deep foundation in the previous vid- videos we have studied the shallow foundations now we will study the deep foundation deep foundation before knowing the types of the deep foundation let us understand what are deep foundations deep foundation are those foundations in which the depth of the foundation is very large in comparison to its width deep foundation is further divided into three types that is the pile foundation pier foundation and caisson foundation pile foundation let us understand when we use pile foundation following are the situation in which a pile foundation is preferred the load of the superstructure is heavy and its distribution is uneven the top soil is poor in bearing capacity and is of expansive in nature the subsoil water level is high so that pumping of the water becomes uneconomical there is large fluctuation in subsoil water in these conditions we use the pile foundation now let us study the types of pile foundation pile foundations are classified into two types that is classification based on function classification based on material the classification based on function we have eight types of piles that is the end bearing piles friction piles compaction pile tension piles anchor piles batter piles fender piles sheet piles and the classification based on material we have four different types that is the concrete pile timber pile steel pile and composite pile Concrete piles are further divided into two types that is the precast and the cast in situ. The cast in situ piles are driven piles and bored or drilled piles. Driven piles can be cased pile or uncased piles. Cased piles are raiment piles, MacArthur piles, union metal monotube piles, swag piles, western button bottom piles. Uncased piles are simplex pile Frankie pile, Vibro pile, pedestal piles. Bored or drilled piles, they are pressure piles, under rim piles, bored compaction piles. The steel piles are divided into three types that is the edge piles, pipe piles and sheet piles. Composite pile comprises of two types, concrete and timber piles and concrete and steel piles so friends in this video we are going to study the different type of piles based on function end bearing piles in this type of pile the bottom end of the pile rests on a strong layer of soil or rock The pile should penetrate in the hard strata at least three times the diameter of the pile. The loads from the superstructure are directly transferred to the hard soil. As a result, the pile acts as a column. End bearing piles are selected when the depth of the hard soil strata or bedrock is within a reasonable range. Friction piles. Friction piles transfers the load from the structure to the soil via the frictional force. that develops between the surface of the pile and the soil surrounding the pile this type of pile foundation is selected when a hard strata is available at larger depth and construction of the end bearing pile becomes uneconomical the load bearing capacity of such pile is directly proportional to the surface area of the pile compaction piles Compaction piles are also called as sand piles. These piles are used to improve the bearing capacity of the soil. Casing is driven in the soft soil. This displaces the surrounding soil. The casing is then filled with external soil and the casing is removed. The piles promote neighboring soil compacting thus improving the bearing capacity and decreasing the foundation settlement. granular soil properties are improved by the compacting process 
to physical displacement of the particles which decreases the void ratio increases the relative density and bearing capacity of the soil tension piles tension piles also known as uplift piles are a type of pile foundation that is used to resist uplift forces that might otherwise cause it to be extracted from the ground uplift forces can develop as a result of hydrostatic pressure seismic activity or overturning moments tension piles resist uplift forces through the action of friction along their length batter piles these piles are driven piles on an angle or batter gives them a distinct advantage with respect to their ability to carry lateral loads batter piles carry lateral or inclined loads anchor piles anchor piles are those piles which support horizontal pressure normally these piles are given to vertical walls which support as a retaining to the soil fender piles also called as dolphin piles the piles used to protect concrete deck or other waterfront structures from aberration or impact that may cause from the ship or barges are called fender piles sheet piles sheet piling is an earth retention and excavation support technique that retains soil using steel sheet sections with interlocking edges sheet piles are installed in sequence to design depth along the planned excavation perimeter or sea wall alignment the interlocked sheet piles form a wall for permanent or temporary lateral earth support and reduce groundwater inflow anchors can be included to provide additional lateral support if required